yeah so let us start our session so in this session we are going to discuss about interface in system wedlock now let's see what is this interface in system wedlock so let's see the definition of interface in system wedlock an interface is a construct that facilitates the efficient communication between the modules by bundling related signals and functionality into a single entity okay so basically an interface will bundle the signals or uh, functionality into a single entity okay it helps the it helps to reduce the code duplication improves the readability and simplifies the design and verification process so these are the uh, benefits of a interface so basically interface is a bundle of signals interface is a bundle of signals basically it is used to bundle the signals for example uh, let's say uh, if we if we have some set of signals like some 10 set of signals it may be of logic or it may be of in data type or it may be of some other data type okay so if we want to use the same signals in different modules let's say if we want to use the same signals in module 1 module 2 and module 3 if we want to use the same three signals in three modules so instead of writing all the signals every time in module 1 module 2 and module 3 what we can do is simply uh, use this interface construct and encapsulate all the signals and use the in uh, use the interface in this three modules okay that is what we are going to see now in this session okay so that is the advantage of uh, interface. So interface is a construct that facilitates efficient communication between the modules by bundling related signals. Okay, bundling related signals, bundle of related signals and functionalities into a single entity. Now, coming to interface syntax, it's a very simple syntax. Uh, simple syntax. So it follows by interface keyword, interface followed by interface name interface name and if we have any interface ports that also we can mention in this interface ports interface uh, ports yeah and if we want to declare any parameters we can declare inside this in interface we can also declare any parameters if needed and uh, if we want to have any uh, tasks or functions are also supported by interface okay and uh, we can also have input ports or output ports inside this interface followed by an interface so this is a simple syntax of an interface okay now let's see an example to understand this interface more clear let's see there are three uh, two modules master and slave okay which are instantiated in a top module there are two modules top which are instantiated in a ma uh, master module one minute let's say there is our top module which uh, in which two modules are instantiated like this one is master and another is slip okay which are instantiated by our top model now in this master uh, let's say uh, where is this interface definition one minute let's say my master uh, will use uh, two signals now uh, for this lecture i am not uh, considering about the direction of the ports i am not uh, taking account of direction of the ports that will be discussed in our next sessions using mod ports we are going to discuss for now in this session i am not uh, considering about the direction of the ports okay let's say master uses uh, three signals which are a b and c okay these are of logic type logic data type right and the slave module also uses three signals of the same data type and the same signals a b and c these are also logic data type okay 
same signals master and slave use uses the same signals okay for now i am not uh, focusing on the direction of the signals okay i am just focusing on the uh, signals okay so master also uses the same signals as well as slave is also using the same signals okay if master is also using the same set of signals and slave is also using the same set of signals instead of declaring them signals so for example if we have if we have written the code for module master and instead of declaring logic a logic b logic c inside our master and same set of lines in our slave also then uh, it is not needed when we have an interface okay so how it is reducing the number of lines in the coding and how it is helping us to achieve the reusability that we are now going to see okay I hope this uh, scenario is clear. So master have the same set of three signals and slave is also having the same set of three signals. So instead of declaring this three set of signals in both my master and slave, what can I do is I can create an interface. Okay, I will write an interface with the keyword interface followed by interface name. You can give any interface name. In this example, they have given interface name as my underscore interface. Okay, so my underscore interface. And in this interface, you can declare these three signals: logic A, logic B, and logic C. So, like this, you can declare three signals uh, inside my interface. Okay, interface: logic A, logic B, and logic C. Logic C. Okay. Now, I have created my interface. Now, how to use this interface in my master and my slave? Let's see. So I will declare uh, a module called master. Okay. Uh, so in this particular example, they have signals called reset underscore n and data. Okay. So in the signal, uh, in the particular example, instead of logic A, logic B, logic C, they have common signals called logic clock and logic reset underscore n okay instead of this uh, three signals a b c what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this three signals uh, which are called clock underscore clock comma reset underscore n so these two signals are used both in my master as well as slave so instead of declaring them separately both in master and slave what i will do i will create an interface Call my underscore interface, and inside this, I will write logic clock and logic reset underscore n. Okay, and n interface and n interface. Okay, so previously I have declared ABC, right? So instead of ABC, I will Take the examples as snippets only. Examples uh, signals only. So in the examples, they have taken the two signals, clock and reset. And so these two signals are used both in my master and slave. Okay. So instead of declaring them, uh, instead of declaring both of them inside my ma inside my master and slave, what I will do, I will declare a interface and I will declare these two signals in my interface. Now see how I am going to use my interface in my master. As well as slave. Okay, so I will show that example. Yeah. So normally in Verilog, how we use it to write module master. I'm not focusing on the ports, whether input ports or output ports. I'm just focusing on the signals. I will declare logic clock, logic reset end. I will declare the signals like this, and I will use the signals inside my behavioral uh, procedural blocks always block okay but in this particular example they are showing the use of interface how they are using the interface they are returning uh, they are writing module master and if we want to use the interface what we should do is in the port declaration we should write the interface name that is my underscore interface is the interface name so this is the interface name interface name and intf is the instance of the interface okay this is the instance 
of the interface. So my underscore if is the interface name and intf is the instance name. Okay, now so what happens is always at the rate flip flop positive of intf dot clock. Okay. So the clock signal which we have declared inside our interface my underscore interface that signal to access that I will write it here. So my I will write the definition of interface once again here. So interface my underscore interface and inside this I have declared two signals logic clock and logic reset time and n module now what i am doing i am accessing the signal clock which is present in my interface okay with the help of this instance intf so intf dot clock so i will i am going to access my clock signal which is declared in my in interface my underscore interface so like this i am going to access the interface signals inside my module or negage of intf dot reset in. So reset n is declared in my interface. So how, how I am going to uh, access that? I am going to access that using my instance name intf. Okay, here I have declared right. So like this, I am going to access the signals which are present inside my interface. Okay, and uh, I if not of intf dot reset n again, I am accessing the reset n. Here inside the model, I haven't declared this reset and signal and clock signal uh, explicitly, right? I've just uh, created my interface instance, that's it. In the port only, uh, I'm passing the interface instance, okay? I'm passing the interface instance as a port, you can observe here. In the module port only, I'm passing the interface instance, okay? So with this instance, I'm accessing the signals which are present in the interface, okay? Next, intf dot data. Here they have also declared one more signal in this uh, interface only, which is called logic data. That signal is also they are accessing from the interface, and they are driving some. Okay, so this is an example how to use an interface inside a model without declaring the signals explicitly inside both master and slave. We can just simply declare a interface, and we can access the signals which are declared in our interface into our modules. Okay. So diagrammatically, if I want to show, I can show like this. So this is a master and this is an interface. Inside this interface, everything is declared. Inside this interface, everything is declared and the master is accessing those signals from this interface with the help of this in interface instance. Okay. Now this is uh, how the master will access the signals from the interface. Now let's see how the slave is accessing the signals from the interface. Okay, so this is a module slave. Uh, again, we have to create the interface instance my underscore inter if which is the interface name. This is the interface name. And this is the interface instance instance name. Using this instance only, we are going to access the signals intf.resetN and intf.ready. This is also one more signal they have declared in this interface definition. Okay. Next, intf.valid. This is also declared in the interface. Okay. So, this is how we can uh, access the signals which are declared in our interface and we can use it in our slave module. Okay. So, this is the process of declaring an interface and uh, accessing those signals from the interface and in the top module while instantiating our master and slave first we should create the interface instance okay so this is the interface name again this is interface name and this is interface instance right so this is interface name and interface instance and we should create the instance of our master by writing the master name followed by instance name followed by passing the interface instance okay we are passing the interface instance and a slave uh, we are creating the instance name and we are passing the interface instance okay so like this we are going to pass the interface instance to our master and slave from the top module so that the master and slave can use those uh, instances uh, 
uh, which the top module had passed okay so this is the process of creating an interface and passing the uh, interface from master from the top module to master and slave okay and coming to interface arguments we can have interface arguments as inputs uh, also for example interface my underscore interface input clock so this interface has an uh, argument as input clock and it can have some logic written as we should uh, write the data type also input bit clock okay and we can also have something like logic a logic b and logic c and n interface now so if we want to use this interface in some module say module example how can i do that i will write the interface name my underscore interface and create the and i should write the name of the interface let's say if and i should pass the value to this interface so here this interface is expecting some value clock right so i should pass this clock now so i should write the uh, i should write the logic for this clock also how uh, and what the value of this clock for suppose in this module only i will write clock is equal to 0 so the clock value will be equal to 0 that will be pass it to my interface okay here it is expecting input clock right so we'll write we can write some logic for this clock and we can pass it to the interface so this is how we can create any interface and we can pass any uh, interface to our modules so this is about the definition of interface and uh, usage of interface in system below so in next session we will see about mod ports in uh, interface okay so that's all for this session thank you